Hello, Deluge Tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play XCOM Long War, Long War XCOM, with me, Blue Inkilo. In the last episode, I struggled through some glitchy Long War, or Long, Large Transport, whatever you want to call it, and uh, luckily cut most of that out so you guys didn't have to suffer like I did. And we finally have a new mission. We have Operation Deluge, and uh, I've never done it before, so I don't know if it's going to be like really hard or really easy, because you maybe were meant to do it like six months ago or eight months ago or something, and I'm doing it like a year later and we're super awesome soldiers, but uh, I'm going to bring pretty high-ranking soldiers, including Sandless, because, uh, I don't know, I want to be prepared. Just in case, because I don't really know. Um, so if you want to see the layout, we've got Colonel Sandless. I'm still trying to get him up to Commander is the real thing. I don't know how many more missions he needs, but eventually he'll be promoted to the Max Officer rank. And that would be awesome. We've got Sergeant Kittens as our medic, who's got, you know, Revive, I guess. No Opportunist, unfortunately, but still, I'd like to get more psionic training and more, um, Master Sergeant medics, in fact. We've got the Commander. Again, another one I'd like to get to Master Sergeant relatively soon, so we can see if Bombardier is worth it. And, uh, I think I gave you... Oops. I decided I don't use chem grenades very often or very effectively, so I thought a scope to pump up your accuracy above 90 was probably worth it. So there you go, Commander. Hopefully you'll hit stuff a little bit easier. We've got the boss with uh, smart gun scope extra damage. Pretty decent mobility, so I think that worked out pretty well. You got Draco Delacroix, who's our uh, mind fraying sniper. Good old pulse sniper rifle. And the Archangel Armor. I know I haven't been flying around a lot, but I think the passive stats on the Archangel Armor are just so good. Even if you don't use flight very often, it's got good HP, good defense, good mobility. It's just it's a solid, solid, solid armor, in my opinion. We do have some rockets. Cameron Richards. A little bit slow, but I mean, I gave you the Corsair and the Carbine. That's as quick as you can get, so long as you want to carry all these rockets around. Um... I don't know, maybe this is too many rockets. I don't seem to use all of them very often, but... We've got two mechs. We've got the Jaeger, who I'm hoping to get leveled up, because I know for a fact that at uh, Gun or Master Sergeant, Jaegers get light them up, which is, as you may have heard, my favorite perk. And uh, you've got the Flamethrower and the Mine Launcher. We've got uh, Paul Hoffman, our Guardian. Guardians are pretty cool. So um, we've got Sentinel and Opportunist. That's always fun. Reactive sensors, which is kind of meh. Maybe repair servos would have been better, it's hard to say. And, uh... I didn't get... I, I could have given you absorption fields. I can't remember what you get at uh, Master Sergeant for Guardian, but... I'm interested! So let's get to it. We won't be cutting this episode up, because it's new and exciting. And it's a story mission, basically. France is sending an urgent mission request. France is? I guess we're in Marseille. Good for them. Alright, so aliens have sabotaged the dam. Yeah, I, I was talking about this. I was pretty sure this was the uh, the special map, and uh, it looks like it is. I think the first time I came here, I tried to figure out what the little yellow spots were, the little uh, valves. I, I think now we'll need to actually use them, if I understand correctly. I figure we could watch our loading screen once in a while. It looks like the transport came Oh good, attack so it's attempting to cross like bomb dam. style. Judging from the damage, the aliens must have strafed the entire area trying to slow well, the truck down. Well, that's not nice. If they want this thing that badly, there's no telling what else they might send in to try and retrieve it. That dam is in bad shape, though. We'll need to move quickly if we're going to secure the truck before right. they do. So there's a truck at the end, I guess. Somewhere down here. We got a long way to go. I suppose that's the truck. Because this is a pretty long map, and uh, I don't think we usually quite make it to the final side of it. Like, usually we kill the enemies, like, half or three-quarters of the way through, I feel. But, uh, alright, let's get to it. So, we want to move forward fairly quickly, because it's kind of like bomb disposal. But uh, we don't want to get murdered by aliens, obviously, so... Moving. We'll scout with the mechs a little bit, as I uh, tend to confirmed. do. Alright, this is uh, making me think this is going to be pretty easy. Two Seekers and one Thin Man. I've seen much, much worse. I wonder if I could flank that Thin Man with anybody. Well, yeah, I definitely can. Alright, we're going to let Paul take the shot at the Thin Man. Thin Man! 
Hey man, what's your thin? 100%. Do these guys, uh... Someone has suggested that council missions, like, they don't always give you, uh, fully perked up, like, modded aliens. They definitely do. This has got, um, that's from Long War, that's from Long War, that's from Long War, that's from Long War. I think by vanilla they only get acid and leap, or poison, I guess, in, in vanilla. And, I mean, keep an eye on their HP. In vanilla they've got, what is it, 4, 5, or 6 HP, depending on your difficulty, or something in that range, and it never goes up. Whenever you see something with 11 HP on a Thin Man, you know it's Long War version. And that, that was good. So that's dealt with. There's one Seeker that's uh, invisible. Kittens can move up. 76%, that's pretty bad. Why don't we just let the uh, Killifron Killifron it? It's been Killifroned. Oh yeah, and that'll be Hostile the first two uh, pumps or whatever, I think. So we'll want to get people over there pretty quick. We don't need to rush this turn, though. So let's just get the Sandless, the Sandless, Colonel Sandless. Oh good! Thanks, Sandless, for just being in range of those guys. Alright, well, that'll, that'll teach me for trying to rush a little bit. All right, we'll move uh, boss man a bit closer. Richards probably also move a lot closer. Commander, you can get to the car at least. Kittens, I suppose. No, one Overwatch is good. And then our sniper will most likely be strangled. Actually, no, he can't be strangled. I think Archangel armor should be. Uh, Strangle immune, actually. That's one of the good reasons to give it to the sniper. I could lone wolf him now, and seekers aren't so much of a problem. Yes, kittens! Good work! Opportunist. Sometimes it works. Or, actually, no, that's a zero opportunist. That's right. You're a revive medic. So, there should just be three thin men with their stupidly good aim. Oh, yeah, and of course, acid. Well, we're gonna find out if Restorative Mist uh, can remove acid from everybody. I can't remember if I've just tested that before. Alright, seriously. I had nowhere else to move. That is garbage. This is why Thin Men and Acid on um, Bomb and basically time sensitive missions is garbage. Uh, so, if I had everyone in, like, Titan armor, we'd still have horrible mobility and aim, but at least we wouldn't take damage. As it is, this really sucks. Yeah, everyone's acidified. Thanks, game. Alright, well, I guess Draco, given you're, like, the only person not currently acidified, you take this shot. I think I'm gonna use one of my mists here. Should remove the acid from these three, I hope. I don't actually know, but I'm really hoping it works. It did work. Okay, good. Now, we need to get out of the acid <laughs> without uh, reapplying it. I don't even know how that works. Okay. Hopefully you don't get re-acidified here. Alright, good. Oh, that doesn't the sound dam good. Already taken heavy damage. So, but it looks like we can delay thanks, the collapse thanks, Central, I know. I along guess. The way to the so, interestingly enough, this has no line of sight. Uh, and probably not in range to flame. I guess, uh... It's either Overwatch or lay down a mine right beside them. And I think I'm going to put a mine down right beside them. Maybe up on this side. Yeah, that looks good. So, if they move, they get blowed up. Or at least if that guy moves, he gets blowed up. Alright, now unfortunately, Sandless and all of his side, they're going to be acided. Acided. Um, I'm going to want to hit that probably next turn. So let's move a little bit closer here. 56%. You know what will work? Combo attack! I don't know if this will kill them or not, but I think it's going to be fun. Alright, Commander, combo attack time. Going I'm scared out. of side panic, so this is all you get. 
Yeah! <laughs> Excellent. I'm so glad that worked. Alright. Uh, the medic... I could remove acid from one more person. I want to basically just get you out of the acid without getting re-afflicted. Because I don't know how the rules work if you're inside the acid and then it gets cured. So that's why I sort of did the dancey around. These guys are just going to hunker for now. Commander, I don't we've got think any of them have uh, the acid strike one's position. Looks like the aliens are bringing in reinforcements. Oh cool! I love it when they teleport like that. I wish they did that all the time with reinforcements. I like that effect. Alright, so we got a couple mutons. That's not too bad. Auto overwatch is kind of annoying. I think we'll be using another mist here to restore everyone's abilities, just to make it a little bit easier. Um, can we get rid of these guys? Maybe just flame them? Yeah. This will remove their Killing overwatch, possibly fire. just kill them flat out. There we go. You want to drop in like that? That's how we say hello here in uh, France. <laughs> Bonjour, mon ami. I know, I just... That valve it's probably horrible. Oh cool, look we at the water! To secure the truck before it's too late. I apologize to all my French-speaking listeners. Um, my French-speaking skills are pretty weak. Um, French language abilities. So yeah, we'll use Paul. I like this mist for mass uh, acid restoration. It'd be better if they'd taken some damage and we're restoring, you know, 6 HP to everybody or whatever, 5 HP. But uh, I think this is still really, really valuable. Seeing as we're kind of in a rush here. Kinda. Okay. Move you up there a little closer, Sandless. Right. Kind of wish I'd put the boss and Sandless in uh, switched positions there, but that'll be okay. And I mostly just want to make sure I can get Cameron to the. Uh, yeah, he'll be able to make it in one move to the next uh, valve. And you can just hunker. And snip snipety snipe. Might as well reload while we're on our way. Actually, I suppose this is one of those ones where I could uh, fly up. It would be valuable to just fly up high and shoot down with the, uh, well, sniper plus archangel, right? Maybe I'll do that next turn if we don't activate anything. Oh no, a sectoid and a thin man. What is it? Well, one less sectoid anyway. Another less sectoid. Another less? Well, they did drop a mectoid in at the very least. Alright, Sandus, thanks for getting back into cover there. I was worried about you. Alright, so we've got an auto overwatch mectoid. It's kind of difficult to say. <laughs> but we've shredded him. That helps. I'm not too worried about taking this guy out. I think we'll actually... Oh, come on, Sniper! Draco! You should be able to see that guy. We could panic him, but uh, I'm scared of panic these days, so we'll just shoot him. Wow, that was bad. Five damage, including shredding? What the heck is going on? There's no cover there at all. Oh, there's no good cover now. I think we're gonna have to draw the Overwatch with our uh, with our guardian. Seeing as we've got no line of sight from anyone that I was expecting to have line of sight, we did really good on the Overwatch killing the sectoids. So I'm not upset. I'm just annoyed that vision vision blocking is in effect. That was a lot of damage. That's why absorption fields is good. That would have been like five damage or something instead of nine, five or six. All right, you almost got him. Good shot there. That's what I like to see when you're sh when something is shredded. Who's the boss? Oh, you know what? You could probably move and mine for it. There you go. That'll do it, and we get a little bit of psionic experience. If I understand correctly, um, mine fray gives one of the most. Uh, one of the highest amounts of experience, Psy experience per use, uh, per success. Um, even Psy Panic, I believe, is less 
than uh, mine fray. Although I think mine control might be higher. That bypass valve is open, but we're not done yet. Okay, we got lots of turns. No need to rush, but uh, you know sometimes it's nice to rush. It's exciting, daring. We could go stand on the roof. That'd be silly. Okay, sad that she just holds still for now. Um, all right, let's test out this flight. All right, you're flying, and go directly up. I haven't flown a lot, if you can tell. Could you go sit on top of there? That'd be hilarious. All right, no, you just stand up. I wait where you are should be fine. Just go straight up, please. Somehow I managed to unselect that. All right. How about you just fly straight up then? Maybe? There we go. All right, so that cost us one fuel. Steady weapon does not, I, I think if you hold still, you might not use very much fuel. I, I don't know for sure. Like I said, I'm not used to flying around very much. Looks like the coast is clear. Well, it's just a couple seekers and a thin man. Could be a lot worse. Although that's a dangerous thin man. That's the thin man of nightmares. All right, we'll take that seventy-six <laughs> percent. Yeah, yeah. That's what I get for seventy-six, right? And you guys wonder why I don't trust in seventy-six. In, in high percent anymore. If it's not a hundred, it's not guaranteed. Could probably shred these guys. Well, no, it's too far away. I was thinking I could hit the one that's invisible. Okay. Move commander up a bit. He's in range. Another 76. Wow, let's see. Alright, well you hit him. He absorbed a lot of damage, but you did hit him. Okay. I feel like my fancy exploding trick has kind of messed stuff up a little bit. Let's just dash up. We need more people up close. I'm on it. It's just one thin man and a couple seekers. We'll be fine. Especially if we could kill one of the two seekers. I expect the thin man has squad sight. So you want to keep as many people in full cover as you can, destroyed. even though you might think Stepping they're on. safe because they're far back. In fact, we may lose our sniper here because the Seeker flies in and then we get <laughs> essentially uh, squad sight killed up in the air. That'd be hilarious. I mean, horrible. <laughs> we'll see. Alright, it, it was just a random shot of the mech at least. So the Seeker obviously can see him. It's a nasty combo. Invisible plus squad sight. I guess if I ever get the ghost armor, I'll get to try that out myself. On my way. I think. I think I'm gonna use another one of my uh, guardian charges here to heal both the mechs up a little bit. I know I can use med kits, but uh, the mist is fun. They're both a little bit, a little bit maxer, closer to max. So unfortunately, I don't know where the seeker is, and I don't have any scouts or battle scanners specifically. I'm on it. Um. That's affirmative. So knowing that this is half cover, this should totally be full cover. Good to go. So basically, an invisible seeker is spotting. And I can't really do anything about it. On Overwatch. <laughs> it's kind of annoying. I have to keep pushing forward, which is dangerous for other reasons. Yeah. Bull. That is garbage. So much for uh, flying being safe. Wow. Well, the good news is 7 damage is less than uh, the Archangel armor, so there's no wound. But if we run into another one of this situation where an invisible seeker can scout for uh, 
uh, squad site Thin Man. It it seems like Long War just ruins all of the cool strategies, right? This is one I I know I've I've heard or read that this is one of people's favorite you know sniper strategies. Get them flying far back. They're safe because no one can see them. Long War just messes with it. You know you can't have nice things in Long War. Let's try to kill that guy. We'll probably pop another wave, but we have to kill this Thin Man. Yeah. I have to kill those two, but... At least we found this one. He's in a pretty safe spot too, full cover I believe. Can our sniper at least hit it? He can hit anything! Alright, we'll save the sniper for last then, because that's pretty handy. Um, I don't actually think we have a uh, line of sight from here. Maybe if I stand Upper here. Commander. The mechs are in good shape, so I can move them up right now. Oh, he can hit one of those guys, you know. Oh yeah, here we go. I should have checked the boss first. This is a good use of the Gatling laser. Gatling pulser, or whatever it is. Mima. Come on. Well, you hit him. It's better than nothing. And... Someone needs to activate that pump. I think if I move Sandless to here, to we should have enough mobility to get the medic there. Moving to Overwatch. Nope, one short. That's great. All right. Well, Commander likes doing stuff like this, right? Tracking. Give us some more time, Commander. Good work, Strike One. Thank you. That'll buy you some time to get to the truck. Give you some cover. Kittens. You're just gonna have to sit in half cover, my friend. And a rocketeer needs to get moving too. Alright. Let me shoot. Let's get revenge. As much as it'd be nice to kill these guys in super range. This is the more dangerous one. We gotta finish him off. There we go. Oh, Angel of Death achievement! Woohoo! As you can see, I don't use this very often. <laughs> so, kill a frog, you can only see the one. 72%, it'll kill if he hits, so you take the shot. Actually, it's possible the flush would have killed him too. It's uh, 8 damage out of 13. I don't know. It's hard to say. I hope our mechs are okay, anyway. Oh, good acid. Well, actually, uh, healing pulse will be perfect. Kind of a waste of a turn, but... Uh... Good, you dodged one. Alright. Oh, and the overwatch. So, reactive sensors. Come on, buddy. Yes! Finally did something with reactive sensors. They're kind of hit and miss. Oh, good. And then uh, another mechtoid drops on top of us. Well, this is an exciting mission, isn't it? It's not super difficult, but I get the feeling if you tried to do this with like laser laser weapons and carapace, it would be a lot. It would be pretty tricky. All right, so the mechs need a bit of healing either way, so we'll use our final charge. It'll heal them up, and it will remove the acid. There you go. Gatling pulser. Do we have heat ammo? I don't think so. I think this is a ranger gunner. No, this is a heat ammo gunner. Ooh, very nice. Alright, you take this guy out then. Nice! Oh, I love heat ammo gunners. And heat ammo in general is just, is just good. Alright, sniper could kill one, two, or three. We'll shoot at the one the furthest away, because the other two should be easy. Alright, I am enjoying the Archangel Sniper. I just think that the Squad Sight Thin Men plus, uh... Plus, uh, Invisible Seeker is kind of garbage. Invisible Spotters. How is that fair? Alright, you've got the flank. You can get the easy kill. I think that deals with all the people that dropped in. Might throw a heal onto our mech. You're gonna reload. Ammunition loaded. 
We're going to start moving a little bit closer to that. We've got lots of time. It's not a rush. But uh, seeing as this is my first try on this mission, you know, I don't want to... I don't want to waste too much. Alright, so there's that last thin man. He's double moving, which is good for us. Although he found some nice cover. Our sniper cannot see him, so we might as well just reload. I'm assuming our fuel isn't just wearing out while we fly here, while we hold still. Ready to rock. I am assuming. Alright, I think we're just gonna point blank this guy, Moving. basically. Not quite point blank. I'd like to not get acidified one more time. But... Oh, so close! <laughs> that was a lot of damage, though. You can't argue with 20 damage, right? Uh, unfortunately, our, our this mech needs to heal. Oh, is anyone else going to get a good shot? He's got full cover from two positions. That's pretty annoying. Oh yeah, here we go. Actually, we could catch it. We could try to catch it. Alright, Commander. You live for this kind of stuff, right? Give him a stun. Yeah! As an extra alien carbine. It's not really that important, but... It's, you know, it's good. The more of those we can bring home, the more options we have for uh, plasma weaponry later on. Alright, so we're gonna... We're actually going to move here so I can put... We don't need to. We've got paramedic, but... Uh, that's where I wanted to move the medic anyway. So then we can heal and, say, reload or overwatch or whatever. I think overwatch, actually. We keep getting uh, aliens dropping down on us. So I feel like overwatch is probably slightly more valuable on this map than usual. Because you consider yourself safe a lot of the times once you've cleared everything out. But now with them dropping in from from above, you know. A couple extra overwatches? Can't hurt. Oh. Oh, lock and load. Right, you reloaded and now you steady. So nothing dropped in. That was safe turn. Pressure on the dam is dropping. Excellent. Keep it up. Look at that water falling, f coming through. That's great. Yeah, I quite like this mission. I th I'm having a good time with it. So you don't have any jet boost. Let's get up to here, either activate the next wave or guarantee it's safe. Alright, safety is mostly guaranteed. Let's move uh, kittens. I don't want to put you right there, but I'll, I'll put you up there. I know I could have activated and had two moves next turn, but I just think that's too dangerous, so I'd rather do it like this. Heading out. Make a line. I think I messed up my. Yeah, we're not. Uh, we're not symmetrical there. We're a little bit off key. All right, dash up a little bit. Continue. You're still. Does it only show you like how far you can make it in one move? It doesn't show you dashing when you're flying, or can you not dash while you're flying? I don't know. Oops. I don't know enough about uh, flying suits. All right. Heading there now. It's actually a reasonably good spot. Reload. And you need actual cover there, Cameron. Well, just keep you back. I know you're almost dead, but... Alright, Muton on the roof. There's a Muton on our roof. There's a Muton behind a car. It's probably gonna die. If I had anything, if I had to guess. Not a problem yeah, anymore. it didn't do so good. Now who it can see the roof muton? On yeah, not you. You know what? This is a decent shot for the sniper. He tried to get the high ground, but he didn't know that we had the He's ultimate down. in high. Well, not ground precisely, but had the highest position. Solutions. All right. All of the valves are open. Excellent. Good work, strike one. Now get to that truck Isn't there still one more, weapon. or is this it? New uh, I thought there was like one more there. Anyway, we've got six turns. Not that far to go. I think we're good. 
Moving out. Position confirmed. Let's do this. Kind of thinking of having like a reload turn here moving without really moving position. forward much. Just to make sure. Just in case there's like a big push at the end. Reloading. I don't know. I will leave my opportunist sentinel uh, mech on double, double duty. Can we... This is actually a decent spot because you can move out and shoot from here. And it's full cover. And this is full cover on that angle. Sure. Alright. Nothing happening. Looks like there's no aliens on the map at all, actually. Moving. I wouldn't be surprised if some more that drop like in. Our target. Get over there and extract the weapon before that whole place goes down. Or can we just move in and end the, we have end a new the mission? Objective. I don't know what the deal is. Are we good? We're good. All right. Not bad. Not bad. I like how we're flying in with our sniper. That's awesome. And isn't Samless the commander? <laughs> what is our sniper doing giving orders? Up close with the sniper rifle. Man, that Gatling pulser. Oh, hey, lady. Where are you going? Where did we get the bullets from, actually? I think you're supposed to do this mission Please. a lot earlier. <laughs> you... You don't understand. I have to get to the others. You can't. I... You don't get it. Do you know how many of us they killed? Okay, calm yourself. Although I think pretty much everyone on this team has some psionic ability. I wonder if she's supposed to be like your first real psionic. Like if you're supposed to get here before you get to uh, sectoid commanders you, and ethereals. You can kill them? But ow! Please. With big guns. Have to help me find the others. <laughs> and explosives. <laughs> We're good at killing good aliens. Out there, commander. It looks like the weapon everyone was after may be even more valuable than we thought. Alright. Excellent. Now, from what I understand, there's still one more mission. I did get a little achievement for that. So, that's part two of Deluge, I guess. I had my doubts, but the troops really pulled through on this one. Good work, troops. Alright, we've got our new Master Sergeant Sniper. I, uh... I still think double tap is probably the way to go with snipers. In the zone could work. <sighs> I already have one Master Sergeant Sniper. Why don't we double check? I think I gave the other one uh, double tap. Why don't I have one of each? Touch, Commander. This captive we recovered from the aliens, Annette, Did I not have was two? apparently passed off to them by the Exalt organization. So far, she's been less than forthcoming about how she wound up in their control. Okay. Or what makes her so valuable? Um, that they maybe that's my only. Uh, maybe that's my Whatever first. Case, oh no, there we go. We need to keep a We're psionically training Kent. So Kent is a double tap um, sniper. So now I've got my second sniper at Master Sergeant. So yeah, Draco, you can be a um, in the zone sniper. This way, we have some options depending on what I want. If I actually check your stats before I take you on a mission. I can either do I can do either or. I think that makes sense, right? And good. Yeah, I want to get like a good number of master sergeants and once we have duplicates, if we get like two rocketeers and two snipers, I'll try to pick different slightly the different uh, perk trees for them. The anyway, good. Is there anything else we were going to do? We don't really have enough Illyrium for much else at all, so we'll let a little bit of time go by, see what the next mission is. That was fun. That was a good one. Yeah, you can have the alloys. We don't need those anymore. Well, we need a few, but... Contact detected. So this is what we save the, uh... The, uh... Firestorms for, basically. Fighters are tough, but at least Firestorms are tougher, I believe. But you never know. Okay, that was good. <laughs> that's... That's exactly what I want to see. I think we got a bit lucky. We probably critically hit it or something, but that's good. Alright, well... Uh, if it wasn't for the heavy floaters and maybe the mechtoid, I was thinking this is a good training mission. This will be a low to mid-level trainer. I think I will take Prey, Lord Prey, with the extra experience and some sergeants and corporals. But, um, I don't know. 
I do apologize, I say this all the time, but for those of you that have joined up in like the second half, anything since like episode 80, it's just really, really difficult to train you guys up. So I know a lot of you guys, a lot of the names down here aren't getting a lot of action. Um, oh, we actually got Annette. Uh, I didn't even check. So what level is she? Just rank one? Well, she's got the literally the worst aim in the game. I, I don't think I've ever seen worse aim than that. She's not good at shooting guns. Shooting a wall, she misses half the time. Just, you know, standing here shooting against the wall, she misses half of her shots. That's how good she is. So, it's kind of appropriate that she's support, because she's absolutely useless at shooting. Now, she has a great willpower, I will give you that. I think that's obviously what she's meant for. So, do we just give her medic and uh, let her continue to boost the will and not worry about shooting much? She can use smoke and psionic and stuff. She's already got um, something, maybe. Alright, so you only start as a specialist, yeah. It's going to be hard to bring you very often, but you do have amazing willpower. You came with mine, Frey. That's good, actually. Well, I'll... Eh, maybe I'll bring her. Can I change her name? No, she's like uh, that uh, other guy that you can't change names. So she's a special hero. Maybe I'll bring her. I don't know. I don't know. I've got a lot of, of low bees, uh, low rankers. I've got three names I'll put in. Maybe I'll do this off camera. I've got three on my list I can add in. Hopefully we can get some more corporals promoted to sergeant at least, because we got a lot of corporals. I know some of you guys in here probably waiting for your chance, but uh, it's tough. It's very tough. We're actually fairly short on sergeants. If I run out of sergeants, then I can start taking more corporals on training missions. <laughs> I just, a lot of the time, the sergeant tier promotion is what gives them their like role defining ability for like assaults and stuff a lot of the times corporal or sergeant are the two i guess anyway that's all for this episode next episode uh available well first we'll check here still not enough for uh sandless too bad just lord prey nobody else is ready all right yeah still still not ready for that commander all right next episode fairly easy mission thanks for watching hope you've enjoyed and have a great day